Okay, welcome to the first project of Maya. Okay, what we're going to be doing is, as I said in the last lesson, is create a simple James Bond gun. Uh, if you look here, <coughs> this is it. So, very simple, but it will give you an idea of modelling. We've got a, a tube here, and then the whole model, model is uh, boxed out. And to this model, we're going to apply textures and things. This little diagram here will show you very basically how to lay out the uh, templates with a front view and a side view. Normally I would do a, a top view as well because it's very simple. Um, I've just, it's square so I've just included it in the front view. Right, to, to actually locate this file, you can of course make one up yourself, but uh, to locate this file, um, if you go to this website URL, which is uh, www.imaginationzone.net forward slash tutorials forward slash then it will bring you onto my server in which I've put all the files for you to download there's handy ones in here use them as we do them then you'll know this Photoshop plugin is quite good for creating normal maps for uh, Maya but we'll get into that a bit later so in here there's a folder called project 10 uh, maya 10 project 1 ibm image based modeling so you click that open and then right click on the james bond gun and save the target as or yeah save the target as or you could click it open it and then save the picture as so you're going save target as save it onto your desktop and then take it into your project within maya Okay, so that's where you can pick your your images up from for this project. And that's the image that you should have. Close that down. I create a new project. Let's call it Project 1 IBM and put that within your folder structure wherever you want to put it I've put it straight in the projects folder use defaults like that accept those as defaults now if we go to my documents and into the Maya folder into projects into project IBM the one we just created put your file that you just downloaded into the source images folder because that's where all source images will be sourced from, funny enough. Okay, so that's it, you're set up, ready to go. Now we've got to import those images into here, which we'll do in the next lesson. I know this is a short one, but you can just get set up for it, and then we'll start uh, putting the image planes in um, and uh, building on the project. Okay.